I'm joined with Jamie Rome right now from the National Hurricane Center, kind enough to offer us some insight this morning, Jamie. I think everybody's asking, how confident are we with the track and with the forecast models as far as where this storm will be heading in the next 24 to 36 hours? And we're pretty confident on the track. You've seen little change over the last day or two. We've been really consistent. Consistency is often um, sort of a harbinger of accuracy in this case. And the other reason we're really confident about the impacts is because of the incredibly large size. So even if the, you know the intensification, you know we don't nail the intensification the size will more than compensate and produce these big impacts that we're advertising. So it seems like at the very least comparing it to recent storms, I know we don't like to compare storms to previous ones because that can lead to you know, misinformation and, and all that stuff, misinterpretation, but compared to Idalia, a recent hurricane that hit that same general vicinity, this one looks to be stronger overall with its impacts, right? Yeah, because of the size. So yeah. let's just throw the intensity out the door for just one second and just talk about the difference in size. The size alone is going to substantially change not only the, um, the gravity of the impacts, the intensity of the impacts, but the scope and breadth, meaning they're going to span a much larger footprint or area. I mean, just look at the current watch warning graphic behind me. This is what it is, current watches and warnings that are in effect. It spans practically the entire state of Florida. I don't find myself saying that often. That's just an indicator of how big this thing is going to be. Yeah, so folks should not let their guard down, even if they're outside of the forecast cone. This is going to have a broad reach far outside where the center of the storm tracks. Well, Jamie, I wanted to ask you uh, for a last question right now. You know, as this heads into Tallahassee, that general area, and an area that really hasn't been tested directly by a major hurricane in years, what would a major hurricane for Tallahassee going forward at that fast forward speed mean for our state's capital city? Uh, widespread power outages, uh, significant down trees, uh, roads impassable for, for days. Um, so I think people in the path of this storm, you know, especially Tallahassee, need to take this seriously. They're, they're used to experiencing, you know, more like tropical storm force winds. And even that, those tropical storm force winds have been known to cause widespread power outages in Tallahassee. So now if we put a hurricane through there, I think people are going to be shocked to see how big and, and wide the, the impacts will be. Yeah, we've been tracking that forecast forward speed, and it looks like something like 20 to 25 miles per hour, which would uh, provide almost no opportunity for it to weaken before landfall. Uh, gusty winds over 140 miles per hour can't be ruled out in the vicinity. I mean, Jamie, I think you hit the nail on the head with this. It's going to put a lot of folks there in that path uh, taken by surprise, a lot of trees in the area, extended power outages. Well, thank you so much for your time. We'll check in with you a little bit later on. Really appreciate your insight, Jamie, directly from the National Hurricane Center.